All right, here we go. Episode 7 of our Let's Play Poorly of Ulit 1.90. We are in the uh, Zazedi system. We are <clears throat> in the middle of a mission. Uh, we've got to go all the way out here to collect a black box. But we've also just been uh, gambling a little bit, crashed into a station. Uh, we've been doing a few things, uh, and we're kind of looking around at the other features in the current system, Zazedi. One thing we're going to look at, the last thing we're going to look at, is the con store, which I've never been to one. I've never been to one of those in any of my playthroughs, so that'll be interesting to see. Uh, let's see if we have any contracts that we can take. Weapon designs. I'll go back down there. Okay. We can't really go down there right now because we still have that other that other thing. Uh, oops. All right, and then recipes for wolf steak. Oh wow, that's right over there. And I got to do that within eighty hours. It'll take sixty nine hours. I can go there first, maybe. Yeah. Uh, that's cutting it close. But let's let's do it anyway. Let's do it. 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 Okay. Uh, which means I don't want to spend time going to the con store. Uh, well, we'll find another con store somewhere else, I'm sure. All right, so we need to go up to Zioner. What type of planet are we looking at here? Okay, so we are in rich industrial, so that is going to be poor agricultural. It's a communist sector. Do they hate me? Are they the ones? Are they like the feudal ones? Although the feudal ones did kill me last time, so I don't know. Well, we we'll probably won't be able to dock there. Like they're not going to want us to, and so we may have to get a fine. Uh, so we do want to keep some spare cash, but I do want to do this. Okay, we we'll get some computers. Oh, we we got some gemstones. That's right, we did get some gemstones. Forty-one grams of gemstones um, from the cargo. Oh, and we oh, and we also have that. Um, Oh, I'm so glad I was sitting here. Black by uh, investigate unknown beacon. That one's done. All right, we can complete that mission. Okay, now that we've done that, back to here. The gemstone differential here is only 10.1 percent, so the value of these isn't great. But the average is 20, and it doesn't take up storage. So maybe I'll just hang on to these for now and see if I can find a better place to sell them. I don't know if that exists. I mean, I, I don't know who, who kind of needs these. And again, I, 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 this is the sort of thing that I could probably look up and, and you know, get the cheat sheet answer, but I, I don't want to. I, I, I want to just do this naturally. So yeah, all right. So we're going to go to Zioner, which is an average agricultural communist. I have never visited this planet. The world Zioner is a dull world. Okay. Let's go. Did I? Buy the cargo. Did I buy it? I don't know. Did I, did I remember to buy it? I did not! Holy moly, I'm so glad that didn't work. I'm so glad I wasn't far enough away. Wow, I'm a dum dum. I'm a dum dum. I forgot to buy. I forgot to buy the stuff that I need to buy. All right, all right. Let's 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 get in there. Let's get in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking players. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I got I got deliveries to make, and, and I just wasn't paying attention. I need to make some money. Come on, let me in. Let me in. Hurry up, hurry up. There we go. Okay. Ah. I'm, that's a little bit of a cheat. I shouldn't be doing that. That's not very immersive. That's okay. That's okay. It's for the content. <laughs> All right. Uh, had to spend some money there. All right. 
We need to do this. We need to go buy computers. We need to do that sort of thing. Alright, computers and luxuries. Okay. Oh, God, no. Still need some cash. Probably need some more cash. Okay. There we go. Now I feel better. Alright. Let's do this. I think we should be we should be far enough away now. The last time we weren't far enough away from the station, which turned out to be good for us. This time I think we're good enough now. Okay, yes, they're ah, ah, too close. Okay, well we just go a little bit farther. Too far away? What is what's that about? Let's see. Okay, so light balls is working still. Okay. Alright, I guess I just have to go much, 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 much farther away. One more time. that? That's a Thargoid. Oh, God. Oh, he's gone, though. Where'd they go? That was lucky. You can see, though, up there in the telescope that there was uh, Thargoid invaders. They were they still there? They just hidden? I don't know what that's about. But, hey, I'm not complaining. We got out of the way. We, we made it. Okay. Here we are. Alright, so we're going to have to do that to get out of the way of all these ships. Alright, now we head in. Let's turn our compass over to the station. Whoops, there they go. There's a relay station over there. Cue at a relay station. Interesting. There it is. Oh, there's a bunch of ships here, though. Okay, can we get in here like this? Yes, okay, great. Now, this is a communist sector, I think. Yes, it's a communist sector. All right, what am I doing? There we go. It's a communist sector, so it's probably going to give us some trouble getting in, but that's fine. That's what I want to lock on to. This. Accessible only to citizens and visa holders. Okay, so we've been refused, which means we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to do some chi chi. We're going to have to get in there all quiet-like and stealthy. We're going to want to do it fast in case some ships come through. We don't want to get smashed. All right, turn. Do not have to... I know I don't. You didn't give it to me. I know, I know. Please clear the docking area. Nope, nope, not going to do it. Not going to do it. Yeah, made it. Okay. 7.2 credit, fine. Okay, fine. Landing pads are of an older design that predates uh, the, the usual docking protocols, and you have to override a safety light on your console. Someone in the station master's office is going to get an external auditory sensory organ full about this when you go to pay your three credit landing charge. All right. Let's save and let's see if we can sell. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can sell definitely here. 42.55. Okay. And we can buy liquor and wines and furs here. Uh, but what we really need to know is what's next. Oh, geez. That is going to be rough. That is going to be rough. How do we get there? That is right on the edge. That is going to give us 0.6 witch base fuel for fuel injection. 
we're going to have to be very, very careful. Very, very, very careful. All right, we still get black box. We have two days to get the recipes over, and then four days for the the uh, Del derelict ship black box. So we have some time. All right, I'm looking at this. I'm wondering if I need to get one of those fuel booster box things, if I can do that. Light fighter. Fits into a cargo... Oh, that's the thing that fits into the cargo canister. Yeah, okay. Can I, Is there anything here where I can inject... Get that witch space fuel b bump. Doesn't look like it so far. Unless I'm missing it, I don't see it. Extra fuel tank, there it is, okay. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump to the next sector, next system, and then we're gonna immediately prime and, and use our extra fuel tank to fill us up so that we will have enough fuel. Well, we'll probably go drop to zero first, just in case we don't need to. But the whole point being that we can get back to get to that next station quickly and not just waste our time flying slowly. And it's only 70 credits, so I, uh, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. All right, so over here, let's go ahead and buy the furs and the liquor and wines. Don't have room for liquor and wines. That's fine. Uh, we do have the gemstones here, and it's a, it's a lower um, differential, much worse differential here. And, but there are six grams of that for sale, and we have we have uh, the money, so let's do that. All right, let's save, and we're going to the right spot. SVR, let's look at that. Mainly agricultural, multi-government, tech level 5, 2.3 billion, small, harmless, fat humanoids. All right. This planet lies on the main route between the Zazetti Cluster and the resort world of Rexebi. As Rexebi is famous for its hoopy nightlife, spacefarers in the know stop off at SVR to stock up on Peptobismol. Peptobismol is a remedy for upset stomachs distilled from the bismuth subsalicylate, pink bismuth, a natural antacid found in high concentrations in the planet's pink oceans. Tax level 10%, treasury 51 million credits, the planet SVR orbits a G3.55 star. Okay, let's get out of here. Woo, that's a bunch of ships. Who are these guys? Let's see. Clytemnestra, Sutra of Renus, Lord of Truth. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Let's get out of here. And now we're heading to SVR. It's a TL5, so it's going to be low end. Most nicely agricultural. So we're probably not going to get good differentials for our, uh, our stuff to sell, but maybe we'll just move on from there. Oh, Jesus. That guy is right there on my butt. And this is what that thing is for. Okay, can I Okay, can I do two things at once? Let me prime my uh Oh, does it just do it on its own? Maybe it just does it by itself? How do I I don't know how to use this thing. I don't know how to use the thing. How do I use the thing? How do I use the thing? Oh, God. I don't know how to use the thing. All right, well, we're going to die. That, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Don't know how to use the fuel boost. I should have probably figured out how to use the fuel boost. We're going to get ourselves spanked a little bit. Unless, unless, no, 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 I was thinking maybe it would just automatically do it, but no, 
And I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Let's see who, they guys, who these guys are. I don't have a weapon. Yeah, 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 I'm dead. <laughs> Everything's falling apart. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, that's fair. All right, I'm gonna have to figure out how that fuel tank works. Is it a weapon? <gasps> I bet it's a weapon. I bet it's a weapon. Yeah, because it, is it listed on the equipment? It is not listed on the equipment, right? Scanner targeting, which face in, space injectors, compass, navigation, ship, travel, fuel, cargo, telescope, telescope, Taurus, fast, comms, large, Tianisla, system drive. Nope, it's not. So I bet you it's a weapon. Okay. All right. We can, we can work with that. Maybe. Let's see. Let me turn my weapons on. Yes, look at that. Okay, so you can see there on the Vimana HUD there next to the distance uh, the distance meter at the top, there's that little green box. So that is technically, that's in a pylon. So it's a quote unquote missile. So uh, let's see, how do I, fuel tank armed, and then I can fire it. Missile. Okay, safe. missile safe, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, okay. I know how to use it now. That That's good. See, I, I can figure things out. I know how to play blackjack. So pylons, uh, as we can see, don't just hold missiles. They hold various other things. That's how I kind of, kind of had an idea that this would work uh, once once it re I realized it wasn't an equipment. Uh, because I've I've had other playthroughs where I've gotten things in the missiles in the in the pylon list um, that uh, that that weren't just weapons and so yeah so we could do that uh, I could technically do that right now in fact um, let me see I could go straight to there probably which I which would give me better return oh gee many cricket all right all right all right okay how do I uh prep missile how do I how do I turn how do I fire it there we go that did it but I'm still I'm still gonna get my ass handed to me I'm still not gonna survive this and I and if I go too much farther, I won't have enough fuel to get there. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hurry! 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 Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! This is bad. I'm gonna get spanked real bad. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Move! 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 Furs were destroyed. I, my hull took some damage, uh, and I have almost no fuel left. Should Keel's bolt hull beacon? Wow, that that was rough. Uh, that was rough. So we lost some furs. How much did we lose in furs? Oh, just two tons. My shields are low, which uh, you can see down there in the uh, lower right quadrant of the Vimana HUD. Uh, but they're they're coming up. Um, so I got a little bit of hull damage, and I lost some cargo, but that's okay. That's okay because I can probably repair it. Oh, is my telescopy thing not working again? Again? Yeah. The mass lock borders thing isn't working again for some reason. Or maybe I need to have my weapons off or something. I don't know how to... Yeah, that was probably it. Oh, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. I want to go there. I want to go there. Yeah, that was a mess. I don't want to go to the, to the rock hermit. He probably ain't going to buy my stuff. 
maybe. Maybe, maybe you will. But we, we need to be here anyway because this is where the... Uh... Oh, well, no, this is the black box, though, so... I have to go find the black box. That's the station. Am I going to be able to do it with 0.4 fuel, or am I just going to have to sit and wait? Probably going to have to just sit and wait. We're probably not going to get any closer with the tourist drive. I do need to repair my ship as well, so... Yeah, which feel exhausted. All right, so we got 80 kilometers to wait. Uh, so this is your in-flight entertainment for the evening. Uh, yeah, I got nothing. Um, we're just gonna we're gonna slowly, 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 slowly make our way over. And maybe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the recording so you don't have to sit here waiting for it. All right, so we are now about 16 kilometers away from the nav buoy. I went ahead and just uh, paused the recording and came back here after about four minutes. Now this station is in a communist zone, so uh, they aren't going to let us dock. So I'm just going to have to kind of do my usual slam in. Okay, now hopefully nobody's flying out. Oh, there's a con store up here. You can see it on the telescope. There's a con store. That would be uh, worth going to check out. Because we didn't get a chance to check the con store and the other system. As you leave your ship, a technician catches your attention. Your ship looks badly damaged. I'd suggest you go straight to the ship outfitters for emergency repairs to your hull. We've been fined 107.4. Ooh, boy. The signs of a recent firefight score the walls of the landing bay, and the acrid smell of charred metal is overpowering as you disembark. The docking bay attendant confirms that there was a shootout with some smugglers just a few hours ago, but refuses to go into detail. After charging you five credits for a station fee, they suggest you mind your own business. Happy to. Oh, okay, this is another Stellar Serpent Azebion system. Weren't we there? No, maybe? I don't know. It was eliminated anyway, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, so first up, I'm going to sell something. Oh, okay, Gemstones is a little higher. We're just going to do it. Just going to do it. Just get it done. And then sell the furs. There. We oh, look at that. Nearly 6,000 in cash. Okay, let's save. And then... Emergency hull repairs. So I'm going to do this once. And then... And then I'm going to save. And then I'm going to reload. Just in case that's a weird little bug about my emergency repairs not working correctly. I still... I have forgotten to ask on the forum about that. All right. Yeah, okay, so the emergency repairs is done. So it just really just took 75. Uh, okay, fair enough. Now, we have close to 6,000. We have to go... We have to do this one mission here. Um, we are in... We're in Rhinus, right? Is that where we are? We are in Rhinus. This is where we want to be for that. And we need to find the black box and return it to Zazetti within a day and ten oh god I'm not gonna be able to make it to the other one um I'm not am I I'm not gonna make it okay fine fine we'll just we'll just not deliver those we'll, we'll do the black box mission uh, I should have thought about that 
I should have realized that it was going to be too too tight. That's fine. Okay. So let's go. Let's see. Maybe I can buy a tow bar. Yes. It's a little bit more expensive than usual here, but that's okay. We'll get the tow bar. Save that. And then we're going to go. All right. So we've got to do a few things here. We've got our telescope. I've got to make sure that I'm set to the correct light balls. That's that. And now we're going to prime over to the tow bar. So the way the tow bar works is uh, as long as that's active, no ship is on tow. Okay, so the, uh, the, it does things. Uh, buy ship miner for it. Okay, so that's for ship miner. Yeah, there's things it can do that I don't really know yet. Um, but I just know that you can go, um, it, it can attach a ship when you are uh, when you get close to it, a derelict ship, if, if that's what we're going to see. So oh, there's an astro mine out there. That'll be ch interesting. And then the Collective ZGF, whatever that is. Tisku, Renus, the Rock Hermits. And there's the ide unidentified signal. Okay. No. Wow. We lost it. Hmm. We had it for a second. Hmm. There is probably something we have to do to make that work. Hmm. Well, we're just going to fly around and see what happens. Maybe go to the rock hermit. Or go to the astro mine. I wonder what that is. That's the astro mine. It's collective ZGF. I don't know what that is. Wish that hadn't happened. I don't really know what we're supposed to do now. But we'll just kind of mosey. We'll, we'll figure this out. Collective ZGF. Just gonna keep cycling through here for a second. Something's something's not right. We had it targeted briefly, and then it disappeared as an unidentified signal source. But you know, it's probably probably correct. The it's probably working correctly. I'm just not familiar with the the gameplay trick to to do what we need to do. Oh, un unrecognized navigational beacon detected. There it is. Right there. Right there. Okay, so we're going out towards the sun. I'm gonna maybe just go a little bit off the sun, maybe just a little bit to the east here, as it were, and then swing back around. Hmm. 
Yeah. Okay. So, so that's probably what's probably working correctly, uh, but I just don't know what we need to do. If there's a way to like activate it, um, any way to kind of just tell the telescope to look forward or tell the ASC to look forward or something like that. Probably not. Um, this is pro this is probably working exactly how it's supposed to. There, unrecognized signal. Okay, right straight ahead, five thousand kilometers away. Straight that away. Okay. All right. So we're moving away from the planet. So I want to go to around 18,000 kilometers away from the planet because it's about a 5,000 kilometer distance to this signal, which we can't see. But we did see that it was 5,000 kilometers away. So that's the best we, that's, that's, oh God, this is fun. This is actually fun. This, this little bit of uh, puzzle gameplay is uh, entertaining. I like it. And I'm usually pretty crap at these kinds of things. Usually I get frustrated and give up or, you know, just just don't do it right. So we are now at 18,000. So we are close to where we should be, probably. Maybe. There it is. Detect. Where are you? Behind me, behind me, behind me, behind me. Don't go away, don't go away. 3,000 kilometers that way. Okay. Okay, yeah, we're we're moving we're not moving directly towards the no planet. Oops. Uh, and for that reason we're our um, our distances were off. Uh, that's okay. Now we may need just need, we just need to wait here for a minute as we kind of cycle back and forth and hone in. Identify signal all down here at 1100 kilometers. Okay. Lost it again. Alright, I'm going to stop there. And then we're just going to wait for it to pop up again. Okay, let's find it. 700 kilometers that way. Okay. We're definitely honing in. We're definitely not getting like we're not screwing up and going the wrong direction or anything like that. It's actually working. This little hunt, this little uh, egg hunt kind of thing. Marco Polo kind of game. It would be nice if there were some kind of a piece of equipment we could buy to like improve the signal strength of these kinds of things. Uh, I don't know if that is really super useful if this is the only kind of mission that does this, but it would be neat if we could do that, if we could get some kind of a piece of equipment to improve the signal strength. Let's 
still waiting. We've got to be getting close though. Okay, here we go. 220, okay. Very, very close now. All right, I'm just gonna, gonna stay here. Does seem like the signal keeps moving. Hopefully I'm not just chasing my tail here a little bit. And I don't see a ship out here, so it looks like the tow bar, which is still valuable to have, isn't going to do us any good, because I don't see a mass out here. So we won't have a ship to tow. I mean, maybe it's farther out than my, my, my radar can see, but usually the radars collect, ga gather information at the edge of the, of the circle when they're farther out from the 25 kilometers, roughly. Okay, I'm recognized signal. I think my signal is 185 that way. Much else going on out here. It's got to be close. We've got to be close. I almost feel like I should just stop moving. Okay, come on. Oh, there it is. Okay. 98 kilometers. We're halfway there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't go. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, how's your day been? <laughs> oh, it looks like we need maintenance. So you can actually see down on the bottom of the HUD there, that little flashing uh, wrench. That means uh, regular maintenance is required, and it's fairly expensive. It's like 1500 or something like that. Um, I don't know if it has any gameplay impact to not have, it, have maintenance, but it is something that pops up eventually, and I think you need to be in a relatively high-tech sector high-tech system to be able to do it uh, but you just go to the outfitter not the outfitter the um, was it the outfitter it's either the outfitter or the or the dockside services to do the maintenance and then it clears that problem up everything is still operational I, I just don't know I don't know if it actually impacts the the, uh, the game and the, the, the ship in any way all right Fifty nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, fifty, forty nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, forty, 
thirty nine eight seven six five four three two one thirty i'm going to stop it there and go to zero zero myself out and just wait maybe go a little bit faster just so we can get some uh, engine noise because it's weird having no sound but we are definitely close now Possibly within range soon to see it on the scanner. I don't know. See it on the radar. Those little dots that are moving. Those are just the uh, the movement markers. Uh, they're HUD type things. They're not real. It, it's it's the, the sort of thing you get in in a lot of space games, space sims, where you want to show the illusion of movement. All right, here we go. 36 kilometers that way. Oh god, is that it? Is that it? Is that it? What is it? Oh my god, that's it. That is it! It is a ship! Oh, I could piss myself now. Alright. Daisy of Social Age. All right. Wow, that took a while, but it will have been worth it. So now what do we need to do? Do we need to do anything specific to get the black box? I know that the tow bar... slow down here come around like this maybe a little bit All right, I'm gonna stop I'm gonna check cover the block black box from a derelict ship don't know how to do that More energy is needed to survive a large trap. What? Well, that's unfortunate. Can't tow bar that. But what do I do to get the black box? Do I have to shoot it? Oh no. I don't have any weapons. Wow, this may have been for nothing. And I can't tow it. And I can't shoot it. Oh boy. I mean, that was, guess, kind of fun. <laughs> I think I need to shoot it. Wow. Well, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to leave here. What, what just happened there? What was that about? What just happened there? Oh, that was that. That was that again. Okay. What's that up there, though? What's that other item? Is that... Is that the black box? Is that me? What's happening there? Is that just me in the center? I guess that is just... No. It can't be just me. What, what's that about? No, that's the boa. And there's something else over there. Or is that just the boa being long or something? Well, 
Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything else. All right, well, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it here. I'm going to go get a weapon, maybe, and then come back and shoot this thing and see what happens. If that works, then I can continue in the next episode. If not, we'll just say, okay, that mission was a wash. I'm going to learn how to do this mission some other time. Um, maybe take another one somewhere down the road. Well, it's unfortunately a little disappointing, but, you know, these things happen when you're playing poorly. And, uh, you know, what you're going to do. All right, well... I hope you mostly enjoyed this episode, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.